guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 6 of season 2 of the Quintessential Quintuplets. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I don't know, open it today either. Yeah, with a really not so pretty face, like it's like a default face. Hmm. I know, I want you guys to stay with him. Let's hope so, Futado. Nino. <laughs> Nino would be the one who gets easily distracted, but you know what? That's okay. That's my best girl. I get easily distracted sometimes too when I take tests. Yeah. Miku, you're making the chocolate of death. You you don't want to give that to him. Or you could try just yeah, melting chocolate and dip some strawberries in it. I mean, simple. Or some chocolate covered pretzels, or some peanuts, or anything. Hmm? It's not her time of the month, is it? I mean, wouldn't all five of you almost be on the same thing, wavelength, just like us regular girls? Okay. Yeah, so why haven't the rest of you all gone? Hmm? 
Okay. You are? I want cake. Oh my god. I could just wait until Valentine's Day on Sunday and go to the store and get everything like on half off or the day after. Yeah. Really? <laughs> it's so pretty, oh my god! <laughs> Of course, I mean she's pretty. She freaking looks like Kaoru from Bang from Bandere. <laughs> of course, every kind of you know female character that has like somewhat of masculine motherfucker masculinity features. Of course, they're gonna have a fan club. Come on now. <laughs> For me, go. Yeah, because since Miku likes to, I mean, Nino likes to bake, that makes more sense. <laughs> no, you can't go in. <laughs> My thing is, okay, Miku, did you add extra sugar in this? That's okay, but. Oh, honey. Uh-huh. Or you can be like, what's your face from Shimamata? How do you know, um, you love juices, but I... <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
should be fine. <laughs> Yeah, when you hit the window. Futado, it, it's five, not even five, it's 6.30 in the morning. Please don't do this. Oh my God. I can't. Maybe you guys should take a break. Yeah, like, you need to do something else, just for a little bit. Hmm? Exactly. You need to take a break and go somewhere. There you go. Yeltsaba, you guys need a break. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we all knew that. Yeah, you're supposed to have fun. I mean, but Yeltsaba, I don't think you're Karen dumb from me, Girls, because, I mean... You know how to spell orange, right? Because they didn't want to be separated. Oh. 
Oh, you to my cocoa. Oh, oh. And that's how all five of you will be able to pass. I don't like the fact that you're still calling yourself an idiot, but yes, you can do something. babies You know, Futado, you should really think before you speak and the way you use your words.
This is right. There you go, misleading <laughs> with your words, like again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the free food. So then, wait, what was Nino's score then? Two oh nine. Thank God. Y'all would end right there. Oh, but I'm so happy Yosuba and the rest of them passed. Like, specifically Yosuba because, I mean, oh, with her situation and her saying, like, you know, I, I, I'm an idiot. I'm dumb. I'm not that smart. Oh, my God. But she's smart. I mean, she ain't, like, freaking, like I said, she ain't like Karen. 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 Depending on how the fuck you say it. Tomato, tomato potato potato whatever um at least you didn't ask someone did you know how to spell orange <laughs> or you know you, you'd be like yeah my boobs always know when it's gonna be <laughs> but i mean you know there there's no such thing as a stupid person that is just you know there are some stupid questions but really some people say no questions not too dumb stuff and then you know someone asks a really dumb question you're like that's a dumbass question, like, no. But, yes, I'm glad everybody did good and everyone passed and we're going to celebrate. Celebrate with food, like, honestly, because your girl at 6.49 in the morning is hella hungry. But, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to eat. I mean, I'm going to lay down, <laughs> honestly. But I wonder what really is going to happen next. Now that they've all passed and they're about to graduate high school and everything and we're going to go on to college years and everything and with the fact is that we only have a certain amount of episodes of the show left, um, I don't know what they could do next with this show. I mean, we got Ichika and Miku fighting for the love of Futado, of course, and then, you know, Nino Itsuki. <laughs> 
<laughs> and Yotsuba, you know, doing their own thing, especially with the fact that Itsuki, you know, I love the fact that she wants to be a teacher and follow in her mom's footsteps. I think that's really interesting, you know, because the only one that could really has a job job is freaking Ichika because she's a model and it, I mean, I'm all well, model actress and such. The rest of the four girls don't really have jobs yet, but you know, they're, they're working on towards it. And honestly, I cannot wait to see what is going to become for these girls and what the rest of the girls um, specifically want to do for the rest of their lives. And honestly, really, who is going to be, you know, Futado's wife? I mean, I've been wondering that ever since season one, and your girl has been avoiding spoilers for the longest time about it and i don't want to fucking know but it, it is between miku and ichika because they are the two that i mean everybody has chemistry and potential but with these two and the fact that you know they're they've made the statement both to each other and saying that they're going to try something with him and especially with the fact is they don't want to lose to the other and they're going to try their damn hardest I, I can't help to root for both. <laughs> Honestly, I want them both to succeed, but in the end, only one can. And I think whoever is that one who's going to lose, honestly, it's going to be a little heartbreaking. Because it's like, damn, like, you're going to be happy for one, but then sad for the other. And honestly, that sucks, because this is why I always dislike having a show where it is one character, and usually it is a guy, where it's a harm of so many girls and he has to choose one, choose one, or it's a reverse and it's one female and a whole bunch of guys and she has to choose just one because he or she just looks good with everybody, but it's just that always that one girl that or boy who is just canon no matter what. And I'm just, oh, I'm scared to find out who it is. But whoever it is, it's going to be good. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 6 of season 2 of the Quintessential Quintuplets. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 7. Bye, guys.